In recent weeks, Jamaicans have been treated to a range of culinary expositions featuring the best of Jamaican cuisine. The JCDC hosted the Professional Culinary Arts Competition in Ocho Rios. Let's find out who were some of the winners in that event. The talent and artistry of local chefs were once again on display at this year's Professional Culinary Arts Exposition, part of the Jamaica Cultural Development Commission's JCDC Jamaica Festival 2001. The professional division of the culinary arts competition is not to be confused with the amateur division, the finals of which are held in July during the national festival celebrations. The professional division was introduced in 1965. The main thrust of this element of the celebration is to generate an awareness of Jamaican foods and flavors. The idea is to encourage the development of a cuisine that is distinctly Jamaican, using local indigenous ingredients that would be attractive to visitors to the island. The culinary professionals from our hotels and restaurants were invited to display their creativity in the use of local foods. Over the years, these dedicated chefs, through their creativity and willingness to experiment with the local products, have aroused national interest in the use and versatility of local foods and fruits. To further the development of the local cuisine, the Cultural Development Commission has been encouraging culinary exhibitions at the parish level. But the Professional Culinary Arts Exhibition, held at the Renaissance Jamaica Grand each year, remains the island's premier food show. And, as with other years, Creativity in turning ordinary food into works of art and supreme delights abounded at this year's exposition. Hundreds of Jamaicans turned out over the two days to get a glimpse of some of the country's best gourmet artists on show. The fruit carving display has always been a crowd pleaser and this year it was no different. Visitors were treated to various pieces of artwork intricately carved and designed in one hour. Two of the pieces, boasting environmental themes, captured the attention of the judges and visitors alike. Some people from a district caught a crocodile, which they said was eating off their livestock. And it's the fear of crocodile that they want their minister to come down and give them some assistance or else they're going to kill all the crocodiles in their area. And that note, it's why me and you, we don't know the dinosaurs and if we continue this trend with the crocodile our grandchildren will never know the crocodile so i'm just portraying a natural habitat which the crocodile should live in no house no roads no humans just natural habitat well watching culinary over the years this is my first time entering and i know that I noticed that the new ideas take the bigger points. So I decided this year to bring in some new fruits, sauce up, which I've never seen here before. So I've made a marine life from like a sauce up fish reef yeah, to show people you don't have to use melon every year. You can just come with something new. You know? On the inside, chefs worked in teams to prepare exotic dishes which were available to the public for lunch, a new addition to this year's exposition. The pastry displays demonstrated the mastery of the chefs, who used local products to create fresh, innovative showpieces.
The judges were kept busy as they contemplated the top three pieces. turned out to view the display was well-known nutritionist Dr. Heather Littlewhite. Good, I'm very impressed. Each year the standard gets higher and higher and I must commend Mrs. Powell and her team for really keeping that a high international standard. What is particularly impressive is the use of local foods. Because I saw a nails very red in cake. I took the recipe, I'm going to look at it in detail, just to see how they managed to use the nails very. And that's what you want to encourage with this kind of culinary arts competition. The chief judge, Bill Moore, is a member of the Caribbean Culinary Federation, a regional association of chefs. He thought the exposition lived up to expectations. Uh, each year it gets, it gets better. Uh, Jamaica can be very, very proud of the quality of many of its chefs. And uh, each year, as I say, I've been involved with this competition for many years. In fact, the first one was in 1977. Um, I've just seen it get better and better. It's a great credit. <laughs>